my name is Nobuyuki Ota, Nobu Ota, CEO of Prefer Networks. Let me briefly introduce our company first. So Prefer Networks is located, our headquarters is located in uh, Tokyo and founded in 2014. We are quite young and uh, only 30 uh, employees right now. And we have a subsidiary company, uh, PFN America at San Mateo. We are specialized in distributed machine learning technologies, especially focusing on deep learning application for the Internet of Things. And our goal is to uh, realize distributed deep intelligence. In other words, the synergistic implementation and uh, integration of distributed deep learning as uh, whole through IoT networks. Uh, we are facing that huge problems. And in IoT, uh, many, many edge devices are connected together, cell phones, surveillance cameras, and computers, etc., cetera, um, generating a huge amount of data, uh, literally every second. And unfortunately, as many people mentioned that, that those data is basically uh, meaningless. I mean, only a tiny fraction of data is meaningful. So <laughs> sending those data to the cloud to analyze using the deep learning is not a good idea. So um, <laughs> what we're trying to do is um, we need to have new paradigm to resolve these problems. So what we're trying to do is basically that we're going to create intelligence system into the, uh, from edge device to, to uh, fog and even a crowd, and every uh, deep intelligence system is a uh, consulted matter, uh, share uh, models, and, and help each other to take actions. So what is the deep intelligence? Um, this is our uh, new platform, intelligent platform, using deep learning uh, through the entire networks. And as you see that streaming huge amount of data from edge to the cloud go into our deep, in de deep learning uh, platform. And initially that uh, there's a five key steps. First, you need to sense that what's going on, the data, then organize and uh, analyze. After the analysis, based on the analysis, you can take action. And as you see that robot and <coughs> Automobiles, uh, depending on the, those uh, sensor uh, informations and analyze it, and you can take action. Not only that, after that, um, this, seeing the result of the action, you want it to optimize. So close the loop. And all of the steps should be done into that, you know, each <coughs> um, from the edge level to the cloud and automatically and real time manner. As we said that there is a three layer of intelligence, edge device, middle network, fog, and crowd, and all go into that uh, one core uh, platform, which they communicate each other. And we are focusing on three basic uh, domains, healthcare biotechnologies, manufacture, and automotive. Then in the future, we want it to go into the smart city, hopefully with Cisco. <coughs> Um, we are not uh, working ourselves, and actually so we are collaborating, we are wonderful partners, and with Toyota, and as you know, that's one of the biggest automobile companies, we are developing self-driving system using the deep learning, and Panasonic, we are <coughs> uh, collaborating with ADAS system, and NTT, the biggest uh, telecommunication company in Japan, and also the FANAC is a world largest uh, manufacturing robotics company. We are uh, basically uh, collaborating tightly uh, with those experts and uh, putting to our uh, deep, uh, deep intelligent technology to, to foster their business. And of course that finally the Cisco in the middle, we hope that those networks, because we are thinking that entire networks uh, behave like a brain. So <laughs> this is a Wall Street Journal and the article said that NTT Toyota seek deep learning expertise. This is our company introduced in the Wall Street Journal. And also the Panasonic, this is a, uh, also the Wall Street Journal uh, introduced our company and they are uh, Panasonic making a deep learning deal with PFN. Um, 
um, so basically that uh, <coughs> there's a three layer of intelligence, simply speaking. So each car is a one big edge uh, device. And our deep intelligence technology is self-driving system uh, and autonomous real timing learning and uh, in, uh, dealing with a multimodal recognition using many, many different type of uh, sensors. Then top, on top of that, there is sort of a fog level. And this is a key for that uh, communicating with a car to car, V to V uh, communication to deduce that, uh, you know, uh, traffic accident, for example. Then you wanted to uh, extract more information on top of that, the global analysis. Um, for example, controlling the entire uh, traffic uh, to deduce the traffic congestion. <coughs> um, for robotics, um, FANAC, we had a, a great partnership, even Capital Alliance, and we already started the big project, Zero Done Time. Um, so basically that our intelligence system, each robotics of the manufacturing uh, become uh, more intelligent, learn themselves, communicate each others, then basically here, the actuator is communicating each other uh, inside the robotics, then robot robotics is uh, communicating each others, then go to the cell uh, line, manufacturing line, even one of the robots in the line was you know down, other machine is taking care of. So without deducing or without stopping the line, you can continue to uh, uh, <coughs> continue the you know line without stopping. And once you have a better idea or model, you can share that not only factory A or even factory B and even uh, entire world. You can uh, use that the most efficient way of the manufacturing. So this is a, a we call super intelligent uh, manufacturing system. Of course, this is a targeting uh, way beyond that, the in industry 4.0, we might say 5.0, I don't know. <coughs> We're not gonna go into the detail of the, because uh, also we are working for uh, uh, healthcare. And also we wanted to uh, shortly so that we have an open source of chainer. So for the academic uh, deep learning platform, Cafe Torch Ciano, which is uh, like a, <coughs> a kind of old version, but now we are flexible uh, new open source platform for uh, uh, many, many flexible uh, creation for our deep learning. And this is sort of the model car is, uh, you know, without telling anything, but start learning getting the sensor, each, each car getting the information of distance from the wall or each car. And uh, we don't teach directly how to drive. Um, basically, that car itself is start initially randomly moving, sometimes hit the wall. Then we can give the penalty. And then when they move smoothly, we give a reward. So keep doing this so-called uh, reinforcement learning using the deep learning. And surprisingly, at the end, all of the model car is start moving like an F1 racer. So it's, you know, without telling that any uh, uh, detail ideas, what it means, um, the machine is pick up, the, um, become smart. But initially the bumping, uh, you know, hitting other cars, but uh, without telling anything, the machine itself become uh, learn how to drive. And this technology is just a demonstration, but as we can apply this technology for robotics, uh, cars, or anything. And importantly, that each car is distributed learning. So not only one car is learning, but we are sharing that knowledge. And that would be the important for the IoT. Thank you very much. Thank you.